Hi Justin, Maria here. So I've been wanting to make a video about cephalopods, but I live in a landlocked country. So I was wondering if you could get me some footage of these fascinating animals. I would really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Hmm? Critter Hunter. Hey Maria, thank you so much for hitting me up. I'm a big fan of your channel. I love marine biology, obviously. And you want to see some cephalopods? You've come to the right place. Every day on my channel, I get to go out here in Dawin, Philippines and film tons of awesome species, including the cephalopods you want. I got octopus, cuttlefish, squid, anything you want. So I'm going to put a little compilation of just some of the cephalopods I've seen in the last month here in Philippines. And then I'm going to send you the footage so you can make an awesome uh, educational marine biology video about them. So I hope you like these clips and keep up the great work. All right, this is going to be exciting. I get to show Maria and her marine biology enthusiasts my favorite cephalopods of the Philippines. And of course, you guys have been watching for a while know that I'm going to show her the flamboyant cuttlefish first. I mean, it's obvious. You guys love these guys. I love these guys. They're the cutest little critter in the sea. And the most interesting and unique. They're not just some plain old cuttlefish. They're the flamboyant. These guys love to just walk on the sea floor. And they're masters at camouflage and changing colors on the spot. They're one of the most insane species on the planet, and I get to see them on a daily basis. I mean, look how cute this guy is. Not only is he showing off with changing his colors, but he's also showing me how many push-ups he can do. One, two, three. That's it. Okay, four. So yeah, on any dive, anywhere I'm going, no matter what I'm looking for, I'm always keeping my eye out for these little flamboyant cuttlefish, big or small. And you guys need to stay tuned because yesterday my friend Tim just found some cuttlefish eggs and we're going to be filming them every day, watching the progress and maybe even seeing them hatch. But it's not only flamboyant cuttlefish, there's these giant ones everywhere as well. Maria, maybe you could help me out, but I'm thinking this is a broad club cuttlefish, but I'm not quite sure. I like these guys, and I've seen some dive sites where they're hanging out all together, lots of them. Pretty cool. But yeah, then there's the bobtail squid. Everybody loves these little dudes. They're about three inches long, and they're like a little blob. And anytime my light hits them, they hit to the ground. <laughs> and bury themselves in the sand. They think they're sneaky. This is the iconic shot that any underwater videographer wants to get of bobtail squids. These guys are so cute. They always think they're hiding from me. So I've had them just bury themselves completely and then reach out with their little tentacles and uncover their eyes so they can see. It's so cute. Here's another one. I mean, pretty much every one of them I see just buries itself, so there's never no end to this kind of footage. This is what they look like not in the sand. You're not going to see them for very long, though. This poor little guy is in too much rocks. Not enough sand to bury himself, but he'll try. I love this clip because it was hilarious. It's like, oh, you can't see me if I put on my hat. Where's my hat? There. There's my hat. <laughs> there it is. You can't see me now. But they also love these. The famous blue ring octopus. 
Now, Maria, this shot is lucky because I've been searching for these guys for a couple years here in Dow and Philippines. And right when I was making this collab with you and filming more cephalopods, I finally found this tiny blue ring. Now, I didn't get a lot of footage. I mean, they're so shy, he just took off. But it was so awesome, and I was so glad to cross this one off my list and just in time to show you. But then, of course, there's the Wonder Puss. Now, apparently, Wonder Puss were only discovered in 2006 as being a separate species from the Mimic Octopus. Now, when you put Mimics and Wonder Puss together, I can't tell the difference. I have to show footage to my friends to make sure this is a Wonder Puss. And I actually found four this month, but they're so similar in everything, that's why they were not discovered till 2006, I guess. But it turns out, I can't find a real Mimic here. Lots of Wonder Puss, which is awesome, I'm not complaining because it's one of my favorite critters, but apparently the Mimic is a little more rare in my area. Anyways, these are way smaller, I wish I had a little measuring device to show you how small these actually are. The video doesn't really do it justice. His whole body from the tip of his horns to the back of his head bulb thing is probably only three inches long. Of course his arms are way bigger but you get the point. These guys are tiny. And he's also missing a lot of legs and they're growing back. Uh, there's a lot a lot of eels and sneak eels in this area on this dive site. And I think that they're just in a constant war because every octopus I see is missing, missing legs. So this footage is three different Wonderpuss and you can see they're all missing something. All right, Maria, I hope you like that footage of all those cephalopods. And if you guys are wondering, I love Wonderpuss, but I have to say flamboyant cuttlefish is probably my favorite critter on the planet. Just looking at that guy, how he walks, how he, he's just so cool. You can't help but love that little guy. <laughs> but I'm gonna send you all these clips, Maria, and more. And I look forward to seeing the educational, uh, factual video that you make about these guys so and if you guys are watching this i want you to head over to maria's channel and see what she does with my clips uh you know she's a phd marine biology student and she wants to do an educational video about cephalopods not just octopus but lots of cephalopods so go check out her channel and if you like what you see give her a subscribe and i think i think we're gonna do more videos like this in the future so Thank you again, Maria, for hitting me up, and I'll see you on the next one.